Well, howdy folks. This video is specific to people with one arm. Whether you got it cut off, chopped off, blown off in the war, whatever happened to you, this is a one-armed lawnmower blade sharpening video. Yes, yes, you have finally found the only one on the internet. Uh, we're gonna do one arm because I got severely injured doing the ancient art of the jiu-jitsu. Uh, tore the peg in half, oh, it's, it's a nasty, nasty story, but we're healing up. So today we're gonna do one arm mower blade sharpening and how are we gonna do that? Well, I found the coolest tool of all time on the Amazon. It's called the American Sharpener. And what it is, it's a fixture to sit your mower blades in that allows you to use your grinder up and down and make the perfect blade sharpening quickly, efficiently, and at the right angle. Gang, it's very, very simple, but very, very cool. Um, now, we're gonna have to use some power tools and some sharp blades. Whoa. <laughs> so, uh, there's probably a 50-50 I'm gonna hurt myself, uh, but I've already got one arm down, so screw it, let's do it. Let's uh, dive on in. All right, folks, we've got a great shot of the official version of the American Sharpener Model 5005 Gen 2. They went through 5,000 models before they finally got it figured out. Uh, this thing is made 100% in the United States, all the way down to the super cool screwdriver handle. It feels like it's aluminum or something. Uh, just a really good feeling uh, setup. Now, when you're looking at this thing, what it is, is this is a fixture. And what it allows you to do is it's got a clamp here. I'll go through all the details in a minute. Since you clamp your blade on there, and then you use your angle grinder and it slides in here into this flunky arm and you go and you sharpen your mower blade. Now, why is this important? I know you're like, I use my flapper wheel on my mower blades all the time. Now, if you just use a flapper wheel on your mower blade, I've done it folks, and then it will work, but your angles get off and I always end up taking way more metal off the blade than needed. What this can allow you to do is to have that precise angle every time and the right pressure and just taking off the right amount so we're not wasting mower blades. Now this model here is, let's zoom in, this is the 5005 model, yes sir. Now the difference between this model and the other models is that you'll see right there, it's adjustable. Now that angle is adjustable and that is very, very important because you know, most mower blades, they're gonna run about a 30 degree angle. But when you look at your mower blade, sometimes this part here isn't level and it's gonna throw off that angle just a bit. Or let's say you're messing with a, a mulching blade and you might need a different angle when you're doing the mulchers. All right, so that's a high level overview of this. Now, when you're mounting it, as you can see here, I've mounted it straight to the table. When you do mount it, remember, you're gonna be standing back here. <laughs> I can't cheat with my other arm. You're gonna be going like this, up and down. So, mount it at a corner or an edge of a bench. That way, this arm can come down. And also, because you're gonna have your mower blade hanging down like so, uh, so don't just mount it in the middle of the table. You can actually just put this in a vise. You can mount it straight to a trailer. You don't need this mount. Whatever you want to do, just mount it somewhere sturdy because we're going to be using some serious, serious power tools. All right, so we've gone over the fixture. Next, let's talk about the horsepower side of it. Now, what's actually going to sharpen the mower blades is an angle grinder. What I use is the typical just a four and a half inch angle grinder. This is the DeWalt lithium ion 20 volt. It works pretty good, uh, especially for something like this. It's lightweight and I don't have to mess with a cord. And hooked up to that, I'm using a flapper wheel. Now this here is a 60 grit flapper wheel, which is what I prefer on my lawnmower blades. You can use something more aggressive like a 40 or an 80, whatever you want to do, but I would stick with the flapper wheels. You, you know, using the big wheels, the big hard wheels, the cutting wheels, you can do that, uh, but you might have a chance of nicking the blade when you're really pushing in it and grinding too much off. So this one's going to be a little nicer to you. Um, now, when you get this, you're like, oh, how the hell is all this going to fit together? Well, in your grinder, you're going to have a couple holes on the side. This is where the handles go. And what you do is they're going to give you a bunch of these little things here and you just screw one of these in here 
You can see they give you a few of them. And this is what slides into this. Hot damn, look at that. And now we've got ourselves a whole new machine. We go up and down, grind, 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 cut, 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 sparks flying, all that good stuff. <laughs> all right, that's about the quickest overview you're ever gonna see of this, this sucker online because I am way, way excited for the next part because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my new iPhone 15 freaking <laughs> pro whatever, and we're gonna be shooting some cutting at 4K, 60 FPS is the highest quality video you can actually ever shoot. Yeah, we're gonna see some sparks flying. So I suggest you strap in, you might put some sunglasses on because it's gonna get a little bright with all the flames coming out of this sucker. So stay with me and let's hook this baby up and start sharpening. <laughs> oh buddy, we got our blade mounted. This is starting to get exciting. So to mount it, all you do, you adjust this knob right here and that tightens it up between these nubs. And then it's super simple. You get your angle grinder and you slide it into here, that hole. Now, when you do it, I can see right here, I got it pretty close to the middle. You wanna make sure that this thing is adjusted so it hits right towards the middle. And you can do that. It's got a couple nuts right here and this will screw out and like so. So, all right, so we're gonna give it a single pass and just see how the angle is you'll know real quick now when i do it i like to push up in a way uh that's because somebody online said that <laughs> all right all right let's see oh my gosh that was just two swipes i can see our angle is pretty good i'm gonna adjust it a little harsher to the right because you can see on the edge it's not quite getting uh, the edge. So let me make one little adjustment and we'll get back at it. All right, so I'm back. What I've done, I've adjusted the angle because the angle on this was just a little off. Uh, so I've moved it to 40 degrees. So let's do another sharpening and see how she does. <laughs> Hot dang. I tell you what, Look at that edge on there. I mean, this thing works amazing. And the key is keeping that angle. All right, kids, I found the nastiest, oldest blade I could find here in the shop. I mean, she's, she's pretty beat up. Now, this one comes off a Toro push mower. One thing you'll notice when you try to clamp it all the way down, it doesn't fit. It's too loose. I did some research. What you have to do is you have to unscrew this guy all the way, and there's a little trick to it. Let's see. Come on. And if you have any questions, I'll tell you what, the American Sharpener YouTube channel and their website is really, really good to give you a lot better detail than what I'm doing here. But when you do that, you turn it around, and what that's going to do, that's going to give you a little more uh, closeness on here, on this blade. Look at that. All right, so we got to screw it all the way back in. Now, there are several cheap Chinese knockoffs of the American Sharpener, and I tell you what, they suck. I would not buy them. I actually had one of them reach out to me trying to push their products on my YouTube channel. I told them, no, man, I, I'm only working with the original. And I kinda, kinda got on, we got in a little argument over the email with his very poor English. It's quite entertaining. All right, so we've got this sucker put together and look at that blade, boy. All right, I'm getting excited about this. So we're gonna go ahead and, all right, we're gonna zoom in first so you can see how tattered up that blade is. You can see she's, uh, she's hit some rocks in her days. Now this one here is a mulching blade. So, let me see, slide it in here. And what you do when you look at this, you, you compare the angle to the blade. So you kind of look, look, this one might be a little aggressive. I think I'm gonna back it off to about 35 degrees. So that'll turn this a little more to the left because right now it looks a little aggressive. So let me go ahead and do that and we'll get back to you. All right, so I put it back at 30 degrees. And one thing you'll notice, this is a mulching blade. So, but it has the same angle all the way across. So it should just ride it, you know, because this thing uh, moves up. So let's go ahead and get it. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> well, that blade's a little beat up, I'll tell you what. Uh, but it is sharpening it. All right, this one, it's going to take a few more swipes. Now, one thing to notice, most of your cutting is done within that last inch of the blade. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go more aggressive on this, and we're going to change the angle again so I can get down to this thing. Hang on. All right, we changed it over to 35. If you can tell by my giggles, using this thing is actually a lot, a lot. trick now you could keep doing some more passes uh, but that's a that's a pretty sharp sharp blade right there look at that sucker all right well i'll tell you what let's sum it up <laughs> well i know everybody wants to know what do i honestly think about the american sharpener well i've been playing around with it here for a few days i've got a stack of mower blades i've been messing with and I tell you what, I've sharpened a lot of mower blades in my day, and I am a fan of this contraption. Uh, the biggest reason I like it is because how simple it is. It's easy to understand. You can just bolt it to a table, and it keeps that angle perfectly with every single stroke. On top of that, it's made in America. You can have it to your door in two days off Amazon. I mean, I, I mean that, that is pretty rare these days. Uh, if there is a downside, yes, there is a downside. This son of a bitch is expensive we're talking over two hundred dollars for the for the fixture uh to me it's worth it but for a lot of you i know it's it's probably not worth it so my plan b to all y'all that don't want to spend over two hundred dollars is just get a hand file i did a great video on a seven dollar hand file you can get on amazon i'll put a link below to the video now i have a big big announcement for mower mike i have been building mower mike's tool store yes a tool store that everybody can actually go to and visit it's in process right now i'm building it up with all the different sections of tools my favorite tools and i'll put a link down to this one down below specifically to the sharpening and buffing section where i'll list this and other sharpeners so that's something i'm going to release here in a couple weeks once i start building it and get her just just right i'm, I'm having too much fun fake shopping for tools lately um so with that again Big fan of American Sharpener. Uh, you guys did a good job out there building this sucker. And we'll think of something else to do next time. I think it's going to have something to do with this old Poulon Briggs & Stratton 15 horse single cylinder motor that is war plumb out. All right, catch you next round.